Hello and welcome to World Label Videos. My name is Bruce Byfield and I'm going to show you here how to prepare labels in LibreOffice. LibreOffice's label tool can be useful for all sorts of things like addresses, assuming you still use snail mail, name tags, postcards, CD inserts, transfers for t-shirts, or even custom stickers. However, there are some things about how it works that aren't immediately obvious, which is why I'm making this video. I want to start with the different ways of entering text for labels. Then I'm going to talk about the different options for labels. Then I'll end with how to edit labels before you print them. First, I'm going to start with an overview of the label dialog window and of how to enter label text manually. To prepare labels for printing, you have to create a separate document. Begin by opening the dialog window where you set up the separate document. You can open it from LibreOffice's startup screen or, as I'm doing here, from any open document. Select File, then New, then Labels. The Label dialog window has three tabs at the top, Labels, Format, and Options. For now, all you need is the Labels tab, where you can add content directly into the Labels field. The most obvious way to add text is just to move the cursor to the Label text field and start typing. Keep in mind the size of the labels you're printing and use as few lines as you possibly can. As you enter label data, you'll soon notice that the field does not allow any formatting except new lines. And you can't add images to it. Images can be added just before you print. So far, so simple. However, return addresses are even simpler. They can be done with a single click if you set up LibreOffice user data properly beforehand. I'm going to close the Labels dialog and go to Tools, then Options, then User Data in the menus. User data is convenient for more than just making labels. For example, you can add fields to a document that will automatically insert user information. Similarly, you can add comments that will be signed with your name, which is useful if you're editing with somebody else. And if you turn on the track changes from the editing menu, then when you are editing a document with several other people, all the changes you made will have your initials beside them so people know who made what changes. Here, I'm adding only the information needed for return addresses. When you have the user data fields filled out, you can close the options window by clicking the OK button at the bottom of the window. Then you can return to the labels window again. That's File, then New, then Labels. When you have the use of data fields filled out, all you need to do to enter the text for return addresses is click the address checkbox and the label text field is filled in automatically. Again, so far, so simple. You just need to have prepared the use of data beforehand. But what if you want labels for different addresses? That's where things become more complicated. Before you can produce labels for multiple addresses, you need to register a data source so that LibreOffice is aware of it. Your source can be a database, a spreadsheet, or an address book. Here I'm going to use Spreadsheet. The spreadsheet, you'll notice, has headings at the top of each column. These headings will become fields in the registered data source. To register a data source, open File, then New, then Database, and follow the steps of the database wizard that will open. Since I've already have the data source prepared beforehand, and it's a spreadsheet, I'm selecting Connect to an existing database file. The drop-down list shows all the types of data sources that LibreOffice supports. Moving to the next screen in the wizard, I register the spreadsheet with LibreOffice, give it a name, and save it. Now it's ready for use. Once the data source is registered, go back to the Labels window. Now you can fill in the label text using the controls to its right. Start by selecting the registered data source and the tables to use. In the case of a spreadsheet like the one I'm using, the table is the sheet the information is on. To fill the label text, you can use the entire table by clicking the arrow beside the drop-down list for the tables. If you want more control, you can select the database fields from the table, then move them to the labels text by clicking the same arrow. The fields are named for the heading in each column of my spreadsheet. I like to place one field per line so I can read them more easily. Notice that you do not get any actual words added to the label text, only fields. You only get fields in the document from which you'll print the labels as well. 
But don't worry, because when you actually print the labels, LibreOffice will read the fields and print the names and address information in the data source. Now that you have your text for labels, no matter how you entered it, you are ready to set the options for the label document. First, the format. Select Continuous if you have a label printer that prints to a roll of labels, or Sheet if you have a regular printer. Next, select the brand of labels. LibreOffice supports many brands, but not, unfortunately, World Label. With the brand selected, select the type of label. The label type will be listed on the box your labels come in. Now, on the Options tab, make a selection under Distribute. When you choose the entire page, LibreOffice will print to all the available labels. If you are printing the same information to all the labels on the page, like you would with return addresses, you should usually select Synchronize Contents so that the changes to the top left-hand label will be copied automatically to the other labels. Don't synchronize if you want to edit labels one at a time. If you only want a single label, you can select the label to print according to its column and row on the sheet. This way you can print to a sheet that you've already used for other single jobs. Probably your printer is already set up, but if you want to adjust the settings, you can do so by clicking the Setup button on the far right of the screen. For most users, these are all the settings you need. However, if you are using labels whose definition is not included in LibreOffice, such as the templates on the World Labels website, you can create a user-defined label by editing the settings on the Format tab. The pitch is the space between labels, the width and height, the actual size of each label. You can also set the margins on each label so that any text is not right up against the edge. You can also select the page width and the height of the sheets that you are actually using to print. You can get the measurements you need by measuring the sheets with the ruler. Save the results and you can use World Label Templates as easy as you can one of the brands already listed on LibreOffice. When all the options are chosen, click New Document at the bottom of the Labels dialog window. After a moment, the label document opens and you can print or save it. If you've selected Synchronize as an option, you will not be able to edit any label except for the top left one. However, any change you make in the top left label will automatically be applied to other labels when you click the Synchronize Floating Window. You can change the text, the font, the format, or anything about formatting, just like a normal document. If you want to, you can even add an image, although in most cases it will need to be fairly small. You can resize an image you want to use in a graphics editor beforehand. And here's what a sheet of labels will look like if you're using the data source. Just the fields are shown, not the actual information. When you actually print the labels, LibreOffice will read the fields and print the names and address information in the data source. So that's an overview of how to print labels in LibreOffice. You can enter data manually. You can automatically create return addresses by using the information in the user data for LibreOffice. Or you can use a data source and set up multiple labels to be printed at the same time. Depending on your options, you may need to experiment in order to prepare labels exactly as you need. In particular, when using a printer that only prints to one side, you may need several tries to find exactly how to place the label sheets into the printer feed. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope this video will give you some help in learning how to use LibreOffice more effectively. Bye!